What's up guys, this is Project, and today we got both the live stream for Defiant Honor, as well as a patch update, patch 1.14, that added a lot of new goodies to toy with. The stream was rather boring for the most part, but we did see Tonfa action in play, which looked like a lot of fun. I'll leave a link to the official DLC stream in the description if you want to further check that out. They also had some PvP matches during it, but seemingly nothing was new, and half the stream was wasted on that due to difficulties and ended with a rather awkward atmosphere after the devs and idol commentator got wrecked by viewer players. But they did close out with a trailer for the Defiant Honor DLC, however for some reason they still haven't uploaded an official video on their YouTube channel, so you have to watch the end of that stream video to catch that, or as you're watching right now. It looked awesome though, it looks awesome, but doesn't seem like we'll get much more new yokai, and from their PvP session as well as the patch, also looks like my hope for new skills for existing older weapons is a solid nope. So if you're looking for new fun, tanfas and magic and ninjutsu stuff is all you have to look forward to. Moving on to patch 1.14, I'll try to cover as much as I know for myself tinkering with it and what others have said on the forums. The main addition was adding lots of new Omnio to play with, near a dozen Omnio skills actually, some projectiles, some AoE effects around you. So I might actually make an Omnio build now, or at least try anyways down the road. If it can't at least 5 shot bosses then it's not worth it. There's also 4 new ninjutsu for the ninja guys out there, 3 are ground fire s skills, supporting poison and paralysis focus builds, as well as a third one called noxious ground fire, which slows the enemy down and presumably giving the enemy vomit animation when they heal if it's anything like the stench status from dung balls or the sewer slimers caused to you. But that effect is only really useful for pvp since enemies don't really heal besides like revenants or stuff. For Omnio, the three notable new magics are Purging Talisman, which removes all effects an enemy has, positive or negative, except for way the demon special effects on bosses or red enemies. There's also Leeching Talisman, which saps your life in exchange for more attack, supposedly surpassing Carnage with higher magic. Combined with its tenacity stat on armor, you can prevent it from killing you, allowing you to go into critical before facing bosses to activate level weapon without having to get hit. However, in level weapon, it will drain your level weapon bar, unfortunately. And lastly is Hermit, which lowers your defense, but gives infinite poise. Using Steel Talisman, however, does not replace the negative effect like Carnage, but with infinite poise, you can do this. Granted, it's probably not viable in some cases for Way of the Demon and presumably Way of the Enlightenment as you have to dodge red enemies since they can steal and rid on hit, meaning you just die, <laughs> so still slightly better now than before, if only there was something that prevented stuns from Yokai Realm, so... Anyways, they also added three new clans, Sho, Tonfa's exclusive clan, which pretty much sucks, Saito, which looks very strong and what I'll use for my playthrough, wink wink, and the last clan is yet another decent clan, Nanbu, which is basically for tanky blue dragon builds like my Seiryu or Immortal builds. Though the top effect kind of clashes with the bottom effect, so meh. They finally allowed the option for people to see refashion or transform skins on your co-op or PvP opponents. You have to turn it on in the options menu in order to see, however. Still doesn't seem to work for revenants though, as all the ones I fought were generic getups with no skins. There was new star effects added for the Odachi, not sure if there's more for other skills, but it looks like there isn't, which is a bummer, honestly. Moonlit Snow, Tiger Blade, and Twin Moons are some, or all, of the new effects for Odachi, so get on forging, I guess. They've added some new items as well, which can be bought from the Tea House with Glory. Tengu Fan, which conjures up a gust to attack the enemy, presumably causing wind status. A new Talisman, which prevents projectile damage from ranged weapons, and then some co-op-like item. In addition, they updated some missions to have new rewards. Seriyama and Omi region in demon mode now awards and rid of stones. Also, soul stones for mission rewards have been replaced with a new tier of soul stones that has multiple forms depending on the difficulty. Maria gives shards of the respective versions of that stones. However, the main mission to potentially farm now for players that don't have builds made is the best mission, Three Lost Souls, as you get the final form of those soul stones there. New Game Plus awards Embersite Crystal, which grants 1 million souls per pop, and the demon version, Mysticite Crystal, gives 10 million a pop. Considering the mission grants three of those, that's 30 million Emrita each run, which takes less than two minutes and can be done with ease with any build pretty much, or any level. 
so very handy for newer players progressing that aren't quite in Omi region yet or don't have a farming build like my Salamandra build to farm Emrita fast. And lastly, they've also made changes to the progress bar, it's now quicker to unlock the later regions in both New Game Plus and Demon, so great for new players or people making new characters. However, this does not mean the new difficulty, Way of the Enlightenment, or I'll call on here, won't. That doesn't mean it'll be shorter, which honestly is the only thing I dislike about the new DLC. We'll find out soon enough though. But anyways, hopefully you found the video informative, and hopefully you can become Sonic and speed through the difficulties to catch up to the rest of us, so we can have a fun time with in-game content. That is it for me though, my playthrough of the DLC will be out tomorrow, I'll be using the Tomfas and showing those off, can't wait for that. Us guys in the US most likely can't download the game until 10am tomorrow on PSN, as the PSN will be undergoing maintenance at 9am, which will last until 10am, uh, which was around the time that the last DLC hit, so not might be able to play it as soon as we hoped. Oh, and one more thing, we hit 7k guys, oh yeah! Took a while to get from 6 to 7, but here we are, boys. Thank you guys so much for the support. It really means a lot. Getting ever closer to that 10k mark. Where I plan to do something a bit special for the channel. It's weep stuff, but I think it'll be cool. Hopefully I hit 10k subscribers before the year's end. And hopefully you guys keep supporting me. So again, thanks to everyone who likes, comments, and subscribes. Thanks to the people who watch my non-EO stuff. And last but not least, thanks to the guys who turn off that ad block. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you guys comment your thoughts on the patch below, and of course, subscribe for more Neo Epicness. <laughs>